Hey everyone! Um, so I'm often asked how to do a particular tutorial um, on a look that I have on the website for a Lakeshore Bliss. It involves basically a Shira Tales with an Israeli Teho on top. And the photo that I took of that one was actually done with an old Israeli Teho of mine that was like, it was like so threadbare that it kind of turned itself into a sash very easily. So right now I'm going to do it with one of our current Israeli Tehos, which are much more structured. Um, so wish me luck. Hope it goes well. So basically the way you start Shira Tales is you kind of have to eyeball it. It's like a beginner's luck with one end short and one end long. You tie it at the back and this end goes out and basically this end is going to come around and create the other tail at the end. However, in this photo, which everyone always asks what I did and I was like, oh, I should probably check that out and figure out what I did. Um, I added an Israeli Tejo. So basically you fold it into a triangle like so, and then you kind of fold it into a sash, aka you fold it like this, add it to a sash, and then fold it twice again. So you've basically got a long Israeli tichel sash, and you put it on your head like so. Now if you want, you can actually, this will make it easier, you can off-center it, you can see my Lake Shore Bliss tag here. I'll just take that out for now. I'll take it off later. Off center. So the, um, so this is quite short on one side and this is quite long. Tie it at the back and then take the short end and tuck it away. All hidden so we can pretend it was never there. Now you take the long Lakeshore Bliss one, and you bring it up and around. This is the Shira Tails part. So you kind of bind it and bring it up and around. And what you do is basically you've created a, a pocket right here. And what you do is when you bring that around, you're going to bring this through the pocket like this. So it hangs down. And that's why it's, this is one of those things that you need to do probably more than once because getting this end length right um, so it matches this end is something that's a bit of a learning curve. And um, you're different if you do it with a Lakeshore Bliss, obviously you can do it like I did. Um, but different long scarves have different lengths. And um, also depending on your shaper, um, or how much hair you've got going on under here, that will also change. Um, so the other thing you have left now is this long sash thing that you made out of the Israeli Tejo. So you kind of fold it so it's going to lay flat. So fold it in on itself. And then you bring it up and around, making sure you work closely around your head. And I am so thrilled that this is actually working because I really wasn't sure. Um, when I got all these requests, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to rel replicate it. So now you can take this and either tuck it in right here, in here, or you can tuck it in underneath. A lot of people have a preference for either tucking it in within the scarf because that is less likely to create a headache. But if you tuck it in underneath, um, some people feel like that is more secure. So I'm going to tuck it in underneath right now. And there you have it, just like the style I did back then. Hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions and wrap on ladies. Bye.